Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x and y that satisfy these two simultaneous equations. To solve this problem, we are going to start with a substitution. Now, from the second equation, you will see that if we add 3y squared to both sides of the equation, we have that x is equal to 13 plus 3 y squared now what we are going to do is that we are going to substitute this value for x in the first equation when we do that this equation becomes log 13 plus 3 y squared plus 2 log y is equal to 1. now the next thing we are going to do is to apply the power rule to this term that is, we are going to take this multiplier 2 up to become the exponent of y. When we do that, this equation becomes log 13 plus 3 y squared plus log y squared is equal to 1. Now, when you look at this equation, remember that log a plus log b is equal to log a times b so when we apply this law to the left hand side of this equation we have log 13 plus 3 y squared multiplied by y squared is equal to 1. Now, remember that when we write log without specifying the base, it means we are working in base 10. So this is log to base 10 of this, and this is equal to 1. And of course, you know that this statement simply means that 10 to the power 1 is equal to this argument. So we have that 13 plus 3 y squared multiplied by y squared is equal to 10 to the power 1, which of course is equal to 10. Now when we expand this left hand side, we have 13 y squared plus 3 y to the power 4 is equal to 10. And rearranging this equation, we have 3y to the power 4 plus 13y squared minus 10 is equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. Let us use the table method. The factors of 3y to the power 4 are y squared and 3y squared. And the factors of minus 10 are 5 and minus 2. Now, when we multiply y squared by minus 2, we have minus 2y squared. And when we multiply 3y squared by 5, we have 15y squared. And of course, 15y squared minus 2y squared is going to give us 13y squared. So we have that the factors of this equation are y squared plus 5 and 3y squared minus 2. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now from here, we have that either y squared plus 5 is equal to 0. From where y squared is equal to minus 5. Now you can already see that y squared is equal to minus 5. So if we take square root of both sides of this equation, we are going to have that y is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 5. And this is going to give us a complex value. So 
we are not going to accept this equation because we are looking for the real values of x and y that satisfy this system of equations. Now, let us consider the other equation. We have that 3y squared minus 2 is equal to 0. From where 3y squared is equal to 2 and dividing both sides of this equation by 3, we have that y squared is equal to 2 over 3. Now, taking square root of both sides, we have that y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 over 3. Now, once more, from here, we have two values of y. We have that y is equal to root 2 over 3 or minus root 2 over 3. But y is the argument of a logarithm and it cannot be negative. So this value of y is not acceptable. So the only value of y that satisfies this equation is y equal to root 2 over 3. Now let us rationalize this. We multiply this by root 3 over 3. And of course, this is the same as root 2 times root 3 divided by root 3 times root 3. So y is equal to root 2 times root 3 is root 6. And root 3 times root 3, of course, is equal to 3. Now, from this value of y, we can find the value of x. Because remember that x is equal to 13 plus 3y squared. So we have that x is equal to 13 plus 3y squared. That is 13 plus 3 times root 6 over 3 squared. From here, we have that x is equal to 13 plus 3 times root 6 squared is 6 and 3 squared is 9. Of course, 3 into itself is 1 and into 9 is 3. 3 into itself is 1 and into 6 is 2. So we have that x is equal to 13 plus 2, which is equal to 15. So we have that x is equal to 15 and y is equal to root 6 over 3. And these are the values of x and y that satisfy these two equations simultaneously. Now let us do an answer check. Substituting these values for x and y into the left hand side of the first equation we have log 15 plus 2 times log root 6 over 3. Now here we have log 15 plus once more we apply the power rule. So this becomes log root 6 over 3 squared. We have log 15 plus log root 6 squared is 6 and 3 squared is 9. Of course you know that because of this log a plus log b is equal to log a times b. So here we have log 15 times 6 over 9. 3 into 9 is 3. Into 6 is 2. 3 into 3 is 1. Into 15 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. So this is log 10. And of course, this is log to base 10 of 10, which is equal to 1. And substituting these values of x and y into the left hand side of the second equation, we have 15 minus 3 times root 6 over 3 squared. This is 15 minus 3 times 6 over 9. 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 1, 
6, 2. 15 minus 2 is equal to 13. So the answers we calculated are right. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.